Being brave and fearless is a feature that many people are proud of and consider one of their honors. For example, when we talk about an exciting sport like bungee jumping with our friends, some say that this sport is scary and they don't do it, and some say that it is very exciting and attractive. Maybe now that you are reading this micro article, you think that you are not brave and therefore you will not succeed in the future either, because the future belongs to those brave and fearless people. But stay with your style and this micro article to check what fear and courage are and can we strengthen courage in ourselves with solutions? Is it in our genes to be brave? The question has always been raised that being brave lies in human nature? Does it mean that one person is naturally born brave and the other is cowardly? Or is courage something that can be strengthened with effort and practice? Various answers come to mind for this question. Perhaps the quickest answer is that courage is innate because my friend can easily do dangerous things or take reckless risks in his business, but I can't and fear is always the first obstacle in what I want to do. I can't reach the heights of success because I'm a coward, and this innate fear has always held me back. Or maybe you will say that I am like this and I am different from others who are brave and I am easily scared by a sound or a movement and I consider myself small because of this feeling. I agree that we all have these negative thoughts in our minds. But to answer the question, is it in our genes to be brave? To answer, we must first define fear. What is fear and why are we afraid at all? What is fear and why are we afraid? Have you ever thought about why we are afraid? If there was no fear, would there be bravery at all? What would happen if we were not afraid? Why does this feature exist in the human body? To answer these questions, we have to turn on our time machine and go back a million years to our ancestors, Homo sapiens, who are also known as wise humans. Homo sapiens or first harvester humans are always in competition with nature and other creatures of the earth to get food and survive. At that time, we humans had to feed on the available resources like fruits, hunting, seeds, etc., because we had not yet learned that we could farm or raise domestic animals such as sheep and cattle. At that time, we were very vulnerable to natural hazards such as wild animals, and it was during those times that we experienced fear for the first time. Fear was a feeling that warned us that we are not safe and that there is a possibility of getting hurt. If there was no fear, maybe there would be no human race at all. So fear was a positive feeling for humans and with its help we could feel the danger situation. This feeling of fear that we have today has been with us humans for generations since millions of years ago, and today when we experience fear, the body feels the same danger and shows its warning with the feeling of fear. So, fear is a positive feature that has existed in all human beings for millions of years and its absence could lead to the end of our generation. Let's get to our main question. So why are some people cowardly and some brave? If fear is in the nature of all people, why is it less for some and more for others? What is being brave and how to be brave? I want to start this section with a memory. I usually try to donate blood once or twice a year. What I have in common every time I go to the blood donation center are people who have come to donate blood for the first time. You can see the fear on their faces and they usually tell the department manager that they are scared by joking and laughing. Of course, I myself was the same in the first several times and maybe even now. It was always a question for me that even though these people are so afraid, why do they come to donate blood at all? Why don't they skip this issue and give themselves so much trouble? The answer is because they are brave. What are you saying to yourself? What happened? They were cowards. How do you call them brave? As I explained above, Fear exists in everyone and is the same for everyone. It is important to recognize this positive feeling and try to control it and use it in a positive way. Fear always shows itself in front of the unknown and in times of danger. It is we who must learn to take control of it. People who come to donate blood can easily say that, I'm afraid to donate blood, this is one of my moral qualities. So I'm not going to donate blood. I wish I was brave and not afraid and could donate blood, 
We are brave and courage means that you know that fear is in the nature of all of us and it must be controlled. Fear should be used properly. Where we are in danger we should let fear do its job and protect us and where it is not needed we should learn to control it with practice and not let fear determine our destiny. Remember that being brave does not mean not being afraid, but rather the ability to control the feeling of fear. Ability is also an art that can be learned through practice. So from now on, whenever you see a brave person, don't think that he is not a coward, because now you know that bravery means controlling the positive feeling of fear.